Nigerians have been reacting to the nomination of Nollywood actress Funke Akindele as running mate for the Lagos State Governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party PDP, Olajide Adediron. Now, while many believed Akindele is being used to gather votes, some other Nigerians have challenged her capacity, her behavior, and her political antecedents. Now, Mr. Sheh Oladejo, in a joint statement, said uh, the choice of Akindele underscores the unseriousness of Lagos State's PDP. Now, joining us to discuss this is Binga Ogunle. He's the head media and communications Jandor 23 campaign organization. And, of course, uh, we're, we will be joined later on um, by um, legal practitioner um, Okeo Yesarafa. Uh, he is of the APC. Now, uh, Mr. Ogunle, it's so good to have you join us. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. Interesting. Let's start by looking at the choice of Funke Akindele. Like I said in my opening, a lot of people have queried, um, you know, the choice of a movie star as running mate. I mean, we've seen in River State, this is not the first, we've seen in River State where I think Tonto DK was picked as a running mate for somebody in the ADC. And, and Lagos State, uh, for the PDP, uh, Funke Akindele, what, what exactly um, made your principal decide to go for a Funke Akindele? as opposed to someone who would have been a career politician? I appreciate the interest of our Lagosians on the deputy candidate, uh, a deputy governorship candidate for People's Democratic Party. Uh, it shows that um, Lagosians still see the People's Democratic Party as the alternative to the misrule of the ruling party. Um, of course, yes. Uh, Mrs. Akindele is a negotiant. She is an adult. She qualified to vote and be voted for. She is a respected citizen of, of Nigeria and an indigenous of Lagos State. So legally, she is qualified to even be the governor, to be the governorship candidate. And so it's, it depends on individual who have perception. Of course, because she is a popular actress, a whole lot of people have known her for years and put her in the mode of an actress. Some see her from the point of view of a comedian role in some of her films. But it has never crossed the mind of a good number of negotiations that Mrs. Akindele is a She's a serial entrepreneur. Means, and his, his, his Excellency Doctor Abdulaziz, I have said it over and over that a running mate will be an individual that will add value to the ticket. Must be an individual who, on a private capacity, has been supporting people have empathy, have love for youth, for children, for women, and for elderly. This is, I can really fit into that mode. And of course, we are gender sensitive in the People's Democratic Party. You can check in the last three or four elections, we have always been considering gender balance. And then we also consider the senatorial division of Lagos, Dr. Adedino is from the Lagos West Senatorial District, and Mrs. Akendele is from the Lagos East Senatorial District. So it is about balance. It is about interest. It's about carrying everybody along. I may just say this in passing. We, His Excellency is a liberal Muslim. Mrs. Akendele is a Christian. So we ensure that we appeal to every interest and tendencies okay. so that we can really provide the fresh breath that negotiations desire. All right, I'll ask you one question before um, I go to the APC man who just joined us. Now, you talked about, you know, um, Mr. Dediron picking his um, vice um, based on the value that that person can bring to the campaign. So I pose the question back to you. 
What value do you think that uh, Funke will bring to this campaign and the ticket in itself? I mean, you've, you've said that, uh, you know, you're appealing to, uh, you know, the gender balance. You're also appealing to the senatorial and, of course, the religious biases that we have in the state and, of course, across the country. But in terms of numbers, because politics is a game of numbers, what value does she bring to the ticket? Oh, of course, you know, we are having this discussion now because of the popularity of Mrs. Funke Akindele. The moment Dr. Adediron nominated uh, Mr. Akindele among four other um, deputy governorship candidates, this has become a trending issue on the social media. Whether we like it or yes, it is Akindele have a teeming followers not only on the social media, because of her uh, involvement in advocacy, entrepreneurship, and philanthropism. She has good volume of Lagosians who appreciate her, not only from her ecology base, but because of her empathy as a person. Okay. I will not shy away from the love they have for her of being a professional, outstanding actress. Okay. Now, all this come together to deliver that we are having people who are apolitical, who are neither a member of APC, neither a member of PDP, but who want a fresh breath, a change. Who will want somebody who does not have the mold of an average career politician? Okay. Somebody who think like an average negotiator. And this is the bend that Mrs. Akindele will bring into the ticket. Well, we're being joined by um, a legal practitioner, Okewe Sarafa. He is a member of the All Progressive Congress. Mr. Okewe, thank you very much for joining us. Can you hear me? Unfortunately, I think we lost that connection with Mr. Okewe. Um, back to you, um, Winga. You, you, you keep talking about the fact that she's a seasoned actress. Um, you know, she, she has the love of people. So um, there have been many who have criticized the fact that having a fandom is totally different from governance and what the person is able to bring. Yes, again, there are those of us who would say that, you know, deputizing is a yes man's job. In other words, you do not have the same powers as the governor, but then you do bring some value to the ticket. Now, what do you think that Efunke can do to get more people to believe in the PDP, being that the PDP has not been leading Lagos for several years? Um, and what, what makes you think that she is the, the addition that will help get that seat the most coveted seat in Lagos State. Thank you very much. If you are not faithful in little, who will trust you with much? Mrs. Akindele has been able to manage a private business for over 14 years. Growing the business from nothing to a world-class business. She has close to 100 employees in a business that she attends to, she is an employer of labor. Now, you can do a background check of one TV, and you see what this woman has been able to do with the little that she had. Hmm. Now, and with the little she has, she has also gone into philanthropy. The bill you don't know. Over 14 years, Mrs. Akendele has been able to assist thousands indigent of Lagos through entrepreneur training, sponsoring them in one area or the other, assisting with a meager income. Okay. Now, these are part of what Dr. Adebiron took time to study. I said, okay, if an individual can do this without having access to public funds, without ask, having access to any support from anywhere, no, how much more she will be able to do coming to government. And please don't forget that Mr. Kindle is a lawyer. 
And now, she's bringing in her knowledge as a lawyer into the table. Okay. She's bringing her knowledge as a serial entrepreneur into on the table. And she also bringing the fact that she has been an, an actress, a mother. Okay. And you see the empathy. So all this comes together to add value to governance in Lagos. All right. Once again, I think we're being joined on phone this time uh, by Okewe Sarafa. He's a legal practitioner and a member of the APC. Mr. Okewe, can you hear me now? Yeah, I'm with you. Perfect. Now, I'd like to quote what the spokesman of your party had said um, in reply of uh, the PDP's choice of a deputy governorship candidate. Uh, uh, Mr. Sheo Ladejo said in his statement uh, that... Um, the PDP is trivializing, and I'm quoting him directly, uh, the election by giving political neophytes who absolutely have nothing to bring to the table um, to the electoral ticket. He also said that it shows lack of depth uh, in the party as regards quality members to put forward for elections, that if they could give a member who crossed carpeted a few days before their primaries the governorship ticket and now went to make believe industry to fetch a deputy, uh, he's saying that this is all a joke. I'd like to get your response. And do you stand where Mr. Oladejo stands on this matter? Can you hear me, Mr. Kewe? Yeah, I'm with you. Go ahead. Well, you see, politics is more complex than the way people are looking at it. Yes. Political party has every right to determine who becomes their flag bearer. But that might not translate to electoral victory. I will not understand one thing. What is the process? It's not something that one can just double into overnight and you expect the electorate to buy in into your product. I want to say, our electoral process, particularly in Lagos State, is more sophisticated, more complex, more dynamic than the approach that PDP is using in addressing uh, the electoral process. I want to say, Lagosians are more cosmopolitan than any state in Nigeria. And it's difficult for them, I mean PDP, to come on board and tell the people that because somebody is an entrepreneur for 12, 14, 15 years, and that's enough reason that they are putting the person forward to be number one citizen of Lagos State. May I think their calculation is wrong. And I want to I'm, tell I'm, me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to talk over them. you, but I want to quickly ask you a question because you made reference to the fact that Lagosians are very cosmopolitan. Um, so yes. are you saying that Lagosians are one-track minded and because they're used to a certain system of politicking that they're not open to a breath of fresh air? Is this what you're insinuating? That Lagosians would always go for the same thing even if they don't like it? I'm not saying that. Please explain to I'm me what you're saying that cosmopolitan in this if case. PDP is bringing a product different from what APC is offering, one will expect that such product must be far better off than what APC is having. Say, for instance, the city governor is recontesting and is a governor who has surpassed the achievements, the records of the presidential in office. One will not expect PDP should bring forward somebody who is equally a better politician, who understands the dynamics of Lagos policy, who understands the sentiment of Lagosians, and who is ready to lead Lagosians far beyond what APC has been able to offer in the last 23 years. Take it or leave it. Okay. APC has been government, has been charged of Lagos State politics since 1999. 
and the party. And can Lagosians really, I'm sorry, can Lagosians boldly say that all the years that the APC has been in government, their lives has changed for the better? I'm asking because I was on the radio this morning and half of Lagos was complaining about the bad, the bad roads. They're complaining about how de dilapidated the roads have been. We've been flooding, our communities are flooding every other day. And I'm trying to understand what exactly, even as something as simple as road infrastructure, you're saying that the governor, the sitting governor, has done better than any other governor on the PDP plat on the APC platform, I beg your pardon. What exactly has Governor Samolu done that has surpassed um, the, his predecessors? I'd like to hear it. Well, so my understanding, the current government under Sawolu has tried to ensure that Lagosians are better off. We must understand one thing. In what ways? Lagos is developing. People are moving to Lagos every day in and day out. And we might not have a private government in place. What I'm actually saying is this. If PDP is trying to raise the power from APC, one expects the party to um, sponsor candidates who are better off. Now, let me give you an instance. The Guantanamo candidate of PDP has never, I mean, personally in policy before, is coming for the first time. The deputy governorship candidate uh, Ms. Kunkiakidele has never presented public before. That means they know next to nothing in terms of governance. And Lagos is too complex, too okay. sophisticated to be governed by Lily Liver, nearby, who do not have the political will with that. Okay. Take right. it or leave it. All right, let me, let, let, me, let, me, let me allow the PDP man to respond to all that you said. Wenga, can okay. you go ahead? Well, well th thank you so much. I was actually expecting that um, Mr. Sharafa will begin to tell us exactly the qualities of uh, the candidate, the governorship candidate and the deputy candidate of uh, the APC. Uh, the only thing they could refer to was the, the fact that he's a sitting uh, governor, and that's all. And so, so if he is not a sitting governor, so what exactly is that, Mr. Sonwo, to do with this table? We, are, we have been in Lagos for, for years, and so we see uh, the situation of things on ground. 23 years of a political party metamorphosing from one name to the other, and Lagos is this bad. No, Continue to have career politicians because that is what you expect. People branded politicians who have been playing politics since the days of Noah, so that that is the kind you, of, of, of personality you think can fit into the mold. No, 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 no. This is doing things differently. We are rather looking at a, a young. But, but he, the but, need of the Goshen. But he does make a point. Who understand the needs of the people? Yes. Yeah, he does make a point. He's saying these are greenhorns and Lagos is complicated. How ready and how certain are are we that these people have what it takes to lead a complicated state? It's it's his it's what he said, not me. So really greenhorns are sound. Green on in politics. That's what he's saying. In leadership in government. In yes, that's what he's saying. He said green on in politics. It's not talking about management. No, take time to look at the profile of Dr. Adedron. And mind you, Dr. Adedron has been a member of the APC over the years. Mr. Sharafa is alive to when Dr. Adedron started the Lagos for Lagos movement right inside the APC. Now, he became a colossus within the APC and to an extent that they had a parallel, parallel organ structure within the APC. No, who is the political neophyte? Who is a green one? Well, that can be in the in the realm of the imagination of Mr. Sharafa. Okay, because we're running out of time, I'm going to let Mr. Sharafa quickly respond because we're almost out of time. Mr. Sharafa, quickly, what's your response as we wrap up? 
Well, my response, of course, is what some politics are part. We are talking about Lagos that is complex, complicated, and requires people who are well entrenched, well experienced to lead the state to the promised land. And I submit by saying that. Green Neophyte cannot take Lagos to the promised land. All right, I well, want to say we should look for more experience who has interested, trusted experience to continue to be Lagos state of our dream. Okay. So effort. All right. I think this, of course, would be left to the electorate because this is their decision and not necessarily politicians. But I want to say thank you. Binga Agunleye is head media and communications Jandor 2023 campaign organization. And Okewe Sarafa is a legal practitioner and a member of the All Progressive Congress in Lagos. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for speaking with us. And my player. Thank you. Thank all you right. so much. Thank you. And that's it on the show tonight. I want to say thank you to all of you who've been part, part of the conversation. If you missed any bit of it, you can go to our YouTube page, Plus TV Africa on YouTube, and watch the whole show all over again. I am Mary Anacom. Enjoy the rest of your evening.